learn from prayer. Jonza eshkongelwe. We learn to give thanks. Jonza kukenza. In prayer, we give thanks. Eka kukongela kenza. Give thanks in prayer. Kenza eshkongelwe. Learn to give thanks in prayer. Jonza kukenza eshkongelwe. Pray also when you are in sorrow. Kongela nalo kuruka shiyimo. You see now in the time of sorrow is your time now to speak with the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ says Jesus Christ, oh, he is not leaving us alone when things are bad. When things are good the Holy Spirit must help us. Pray for preparation of the day. In prayer, we prepare our day. In prayer, we prepare the day. When we are praying in the name of Jesus, early in the morning, we prepare our day. When I will be giving you short teachings After that Then we will be praying Can we read From the book of 2nd Corinthians Let us read chapter 10 Chapter 10. We shall read from verse 3. To verse 6. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedience to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. <laughs> Ayanyama Kambe mani matimba Ashkwembu ekwisa Makokolo Nikushanta makungu Niri rangu inkwaro Leri takukeke Leri sivela kakutiva kashkwembu Nikushisa meanakanyo inkwayo Ekwingiseni kakreste Kutani itilungisele Kutsinya ekuti arisa inkwako Siku kuingisa kawina kunga ta etiseka. Listen. We are here in the world. We are human beings. But listen, the word of God says, though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. We are human beings. When you are in Christ Jesus, you learn the spiritual world. You understand very well the life in the spirit. Listen. There are two kingdoms according to Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. After the short teaching you will understand well why Jesus Christ says this darkness is a kingdom. You know, I'm so happy because what I'm saying, you have the proofs in your house. And 
and you are seeing the proofs all over. Listen, when a human being is not in Jesus Christ, that person is not in God. And when the person is not in God, which means the person is in the darkness, because if you are not in Jesus Christ, you are in the darkness. I've explained to you what is the darkness. And the one who is the king in the darkness kingdom is Lucifer, the fallen angel. The one who is the king in the kingdom of God is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who gives life. And the devil who kills. And when God created a human being. He created a human being. Who is like him. Which means man is an image of God. Not the image of Lucifer, the fallen angel of the devil. So listen. If you are not in Jesus, you are selling your life to the devil. Because we know that the devil doesn't like you. What Christ is doing now in this world Christ Jesus Christ. He is exposing the darkness kingdom for you to know Jesus Christ says Christ. He is exposing darkness Embarrassing darkness kingdom so that his people must know the truth. Listen, if Christ is not exposing this deception in the line of initiation, how are we going to know that these people, they've been told to roll and they've been told to search the gold bladder? Because look, they put fear in them. They told them, if you speak, you will die. But look now, these people are speaking before Jesus Christ and they are not dying. So long done. Which means Jesus is greater than the devil. He is more powerful. He alone is the only one who died for these people. Listen. You who are parents. Think about when you are staying with your child who is drinking human's blood every night. And you find that you don't know anything. But when your child is arrested by the power of Jesus, your child will expose. Which means it's Jesus Christ who is exposing darkness. Darkness which is in your child. Say amen. amen. So what happened to those who are calling themselves principalities of darkness? But the but they call themselves the principalities. Principalities who are human beings. Know that they were born. They were born here on earth by their parents. This is what happened. Once now a human being is the principality. It means that that person has sacrificed many people. 
Start counting by thousands and thousands. And they start by killing their loved ones. All the principalities, they don't have their relatives. They've eaten them all. Because when you are saving the devil, the devil will tell you that go and kill the person whom you love so much. That is the sacrifice of the darkness. In the darkness. So listen. Principalities are the human beings who are deceived. Those who are called principalities are the people in the higher post in the darkness who are human beings. Which means all the devil worshippers and the witches and false prophets and what, 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 they fall under them. So, those people, they are full of darkness. When they look at you, they are no longer looking at you and seeing a human being. They see somebody who must be killed quickly. So, this darkness stole the earth and put its leaders who were controlling all continents. Those people are mad. They always think about killing. They are no longer having peace with a human being. Again, they destroy. They destroy the countries. They destroy also the continents. But Jesus Christ is arresting them because those people, they cannot attend this service. Uh, Jesus Christ is following them and arrest them. And because they don't want the church of Jesus. They don't want to see you as a Christian. Their work is to block you not to believe God. Again. They want to kill people. They don't want people to accept Jesus. They don't want Jesus Christ. So listen. For you to find yourself in the service of Jesus. Is by the Lord's grace. Amen. 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 So what is happening now when you are seeing now many people go into the church, running to the services of Jesus? When Jesus Christ is disarming darkness, putting darkness down, the people now start to know the truth. That is why now you see many people bringing all these pieces of truth. Again, now you see people start to attending the services of Jesus. It was not like that. When the darkness was still having power. Some of you, you have this question. Pastor, tell us. Is this darkness going to be finished totally? Jesus Christ says yes. yes oh Christ, he is going to end darkness. Which means when the darkness 
is finished. Oh, there will be no more witches. There will be no more satanists. There will be no more devil worshippers. No more false prophets. This is the great work which Christ is doing. He is taking the whole world into his peace. So that's why he is putting down darkness. This darkness is a kingdom because it built itself here on earth, under the earth, in the sea, and under the sea, and the two places at the space. The first one, Corona, the last one, Kotana. Mm. Uh, in the in the sea in, uh, and under the sea and at the space Orona and the Orona. last place Nanda. Otana, Otana is the kingdom of six number six. it no works more. with six. six but the kingdom of God works with the number of seven which means the complete the full number. how many people whom you know that they are having triple six who knows when Jesus Christ wants he will arrest some of them who are here who are having the power of triple six if you don't have Jesus you cannot run away they will get you Listen. When you hear the gospel of Jesus, don't think that we are just pushing the time by preaching the gospel of Jesus. Uh -uh. This news of Jesus is very serious. Some of you is because you don't know anything about spiritual world. If really Christ can open your eyes and start to see the spiritual world. I'm reading from the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 18. This calls for wisdom if anyone has insight. Let him calculate the number of the beast. For it is man's number. His number is 666. Six, six. The mark of triple six. This is the number which is given to men in order to worship the devil. In number Satan. Hey, are you with me? Mina, mina. Are you with me? Mina, mina, okay. So watch yourself now. Says. If you are not living a holy life, if you are not living Jesus, Jesus, if really you don't have the Holy Spirit, you are not going to stand. Let us learn about the space. Even when you don't want to know about the space. But things at the space are happening which are blocking you. Let me read the book of Ephesians chapter 5. I will read from verse 11. Let us read from verse 11 to verse 13. I sugule nuku tava Ephesians five verse eleven kufika kat eighteen. Okay, we can also read fourteen for you to understand very well. Na fourteen ingai shaya desha kumita tuisi isa. It says, "Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds 
of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what the disobedience do in secret. But everything exposed by the light become visible, for it is light that makes everything visible. This is why it is said, wake up, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Kambe mingatsugi, miwa ni maga, eminti reni ya munyama, leyo kemi hanzu. Kambe misa anza, hikuwa sikomisa tingana, loko kufuriwa, tena lesi, vasi endaka, eshu hundein. Kambe silo, hinkwazo, Lesi sanzuaga, si kumbisiwa, ikuwa na kala, ikuwa inkuwa so lesi kumbisiwaaga, ikuwa na kala, ikuwa la okay, vangi, fuka we na la etelaka, fuka eshkar kavafi, kutani kreste utakvoninga. This is what I will be telling you about the space and about the spirits at the space is the exposure. By Jesus Christ himself. Again, let us read the book of Ephesians chapter 6. We, we shall read verse 12 which says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, Again, the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heaven realms. Hikuwa egulwe ni kaina, ahilwe ni nyama ni ngati, kambe hilwa ni wafumi, nile so matimba, niti osu nkwa tutamu nyama, nimi moele upia, ya shivanda, ya shivanda swale hensha. The Shangan Bible says, in the heavenly realms. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world. Kambe ilwa niwa fumi, nile swa matimba, niti osi nkwato tamu nyama. Against the spiritual forces of evil. Nimi moele upia. Now let us look at the space. So for you to understand well the space. Kovai kodo kutisa swale moyeni. Know that where your hand is. And that when you have lifted it up. We start now to say this is the space. So when you go up from above your head. When we say the space, we mean above your head. Above any building which you know. Above all the trees. So at the space, as you have heard me saying, the devil also built his kingdom at the space. There are other spirits at the place called Kotana. And before you arrive there, there are many, many layers. Which the darkness built its kingdom in order to block you and to destroy you. Listen. 
When you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ, having the name of Jesus Christ in you, having the relationship with the name, again, it needs more holiness. For you to be answered quickly. It needs you to stay in the holiness. But then let me tell this truth. Many Christians are failing to live in the holiness. When you are not living in the holiness, your prayer cannot pass the space. That is why Jesus Christ says you need the Holy Spirit to help you. Those spirits at the space, they are very stubborn. They don't want you to live in the riches and blessings. Again, they don't want you to live in health. They are so ugly. They are very cruel. Even their appearance are so ugly. Those spirits are the stubborn spirits. They don't want to see you receiving anything from heaven. Because above Kotana, then you will find other layers made by the kingdom of heaven. And there, far, far, far is where you find heaven. So, please. When you are a human being, you are here on earth. But for you to live, you need the kingdom of God when you are here. That is why Jesus Christ is teaching us to believe him by our hearts. So those spirits of Kotana, Christ is taking these spirits out from the space and now he has started the last part of removing those spirits from the space. But we don't know where he's going to finish them. But we know this is the last part of removing those spirits. Who are these spirits? These are the creations of Lucifer. These are the armies of Lucifer. When he wanted to destroy the whole world, he has planned to use these spirits because he has put his powers in these spirits. Those spirits are having many eyes inside and outside. And they have many tails. And some of their images like the toilet. Do you know this flashing toilet? Where you have the bowl where you sit. And there is this upper part for flashing water. And there is another pipe which is taking all the things out from the house. Look at that picture of the toilet. Some of them, they are like that. But having many eyes, 
they are able to see the whole world. But the reason of Lucifer to create those spirits, he wants to use them to finish the world. But really he is not going to finish the world because there is Jesus who has died for the whole world. So those spirits are very stubborn. When Christ is putting them down, they are doing many things which are evil polluting the whole world but they want to destroy human beings. So listen, for you to defeat these spirits you need Jesus Christ himself and the Holy Spirit. Then you will be able to defeat these spirits. Are these spirits manifesting from people let me answer you. But not in that way which we see them manifesting in the church. Because those spirits are not allowed to come down in a full force by Jesus Christ. Listen, when they are there up, Another work is to block your blessings. When you are praying in the name of Jesus, but if you are not living in the holiness, having a good relationship with the name of Jesus Christ, living by the word of God, your answers will be stuck on the way. But listen, the wisdom which Christ has brought. The better thing when you are praying now, when those spirits are not yet removed there, is to pray in the name of Jesus and call the Holy Spirit to help you and to bring your answers. Those spirits, they cannot touch the name of Jesus, they cannot touch the Holy Spirit. Again, they cannot touch the angels. Which means you can send the angels, you can command the angels to bring things which you want. But you must not worship them. Those are your servants. They are saving you. So listen. Look at yourself when you are here on earth. And look at the space. How big is the space? Is bigger than the world. I don't know how many times. So long ago, I'm fucking going to go and say, "I'm not going to be You know, you are like small piece of dust when you are here on earth. So long ago, I'm not going to be no piece of dust. But Jesus Christ came down for you. And he died on the cross for you. Even when you are like a piece of dust, you are very special before God. Praise the Lord. So, maintain your relationship with Jesus Christ. Do not break that relationship. Once the relationship is broken, you are gone. Amen. Hallelujah. So, how can your prayer, all your prayers, reach heaven? 
When you are living your holy life, number one, praying in the name of Jesus, living by the word of God, having the relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, in your prayer, trust the Holy Spirit. If you are not trusting the Holy Spirit, you will be just speaking and speaking and speaking. End up not receiving any answer. So now, in whatever you want, I want you now to speak with the Holy Spirit. You know the Holy Spirit, you can send him anywhere to go and take your things. And you can also speak with the Holy Spirit, you can also speak with the Holy Spirit that you want something. Praise the Lord. With your hands lifted up. Now we continue to pray. When you will be speaking with the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit to help you. I want you to seek help from the Holy Spirit. All the help which you want. And also you who don't understand yourself. I mean by the things which are happening in your life. It's your time to speak with the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands. And start speaking with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord. Whatever is a bondage. In your body will be burned, will be broken. Oh, yes, son. Oh, yes, son. Continue to pray. Then I'm sure you can get it. Spirit moves. Spirit moves. Over me. Over me. Spirit moves. Spirit moves. me spirit 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 move. Oh, like a mighty wind, the power of God. Is upon you.
World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus.